hello welcome to my channel my name is Catherine and this is so much sewing so much sewing is a channel all about sewing it's all about my sewing adventures things that I get up to fitting issues things that I purchase uh, my makes so if you're obsessed with sewing like I am I hope you'll stick around if this is your first time here please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and do all those things that we youtubers like you to do and if you are a returning viewer thank you very much for coming back to see me again today I really love having your company here and I respond to all your comments below as you know I love to have a good chat so let me know what you're up to what adventures you're having what's going well for you in the sewing world and what's not going well for you just anything that springs to mind but today I am going to show you a bunch of fabrics that I purchased recently even though I did recently say that I wasn't going to be purchasing purchasing fabrics again for a while and I really shouldn't because I've got a huge car bill I think I mentioned to you that my air conditioning wasn't working in the car well there was the air conditioning there was the brakes there was new tires there was all sorts of things a service so it cost a fortune so I am as everybody does cutting back a little bit while I get that bill sorted so I really shouldn't probably purchase these things but most of them actually were de-stashed so I got them for a really great price that's my justification to myself. The first one I'll talk to you about is a cotton French terry that I got from Drapers. This is the only one I paid full price for, uh, and it was, you know, not a de stash from a retail store. And this is a car key. I hadn't really done a lot of um, French terry sewing, but I did make a couple of unwind hoodies. Were they both hoodies? Yeah, they were both hoodies. Unwind from Pattern Emporium recently. And I discovered I really love French Terry. So I bought some more. And this is a khaki colour that is re reasonably new. I'll link it below because it is still available. But it's reasonably new on their website. So really nice, heavyweight. It's 460 GSM. So it's really beefy. There is some stretch horizontally, but really none vertically. Um, and it's really really wide it's 1.8 meters wide it could well be some lounge pants ah actually it's going to go so well with my crazy camo French terry that I purchased a long time ago now and I threatened to make matching loungewear for both my husband and I out of it I have made myself a Stanton uh, hoodie but without the hood which I'll put a picture of here and I'll link that video up here and down below because um, it's just this crazy camouflage with gold <laughs> it's nuts but I've still got that there so this actually would make a great pair of um, jogging pants to go with that I still need to finish off making the leisure suit matching leisure suits loungewear for my husband and I stay tuned on that I thought I'd start making use of my dolly I've had her for a while now and I haven't used her for actually making any sewing for helping me sew because I haven't really got enough room in my sewing room but um, so I thought I'd just start making use of her in my videos so she can hold the fabrics as I talk to you about the next lot and I told you a little lie accidentally this also this next fabric was also purchased from a retail store actually it was from the same people I got this fabric from this is by the way my Sydney dress by Style Arc I do have a video about that so I'll link that down below I love this dress I really really love it it did make up really large and I was a bit miffed about that because the finished garment measurements listed were incorrect uh, the garment made up from memory it was 11 centimeters wider across the bust than the finished garment measurements said it would which I think is not great love the dress love the style you know style arc have some amazing patterns but please the information needs to be correct I will still wear this and I, I do like an oversized fit so 
you know, it's not the end of the world. A lot of people, for a lot of people, it would be because they don't like such an oversized fit. But um, anyway, that's enough of that rant. This fabric came from the Fine Cloth Co. in Wellington. And um, I went there with Stacy from Stacy J Studio and also with Deb from Slap Happy Sewing. I went and met up with them a wee few months ago now. Um, we had a lot of fun and we went to the Fine Cloth Co. I'll link that video down below as well. So that fabric came from them and this actually I purchased online from the Fine Cloth Co. It's a really beautiful linen. It, I mean, it looks see-through from here, but when it's on the body, it won't be see-through. They had an amazing price. They've probably still got some in stock, so I'll link it below. They had a natural color and a white and this black. Lovely, lightweight, beautiful weave linen 100% linen and they had it for $20 a meter so if you're looking for some linen and you don't want to spend a fortune because let's face it you can spend New Zealand $60 a meter at least $45 a meter $60 a meter even a bit more on some linen fabrics this feels like an amazing quality quality to me it's very smooth really nice lightweight so $20 a meter I'd go and snap that up <laughs> if I were you because that sort of price doesn't come around very often so I got quite a bit of that I got maybe three and a half meters and it's kind of the wrong time of year because we are heading more into sort of autumn and winter but you can never go wrong with black linen, having black linen in your stash. So that's what I did. And I've just realized I told you even more lies because this next fabric is actually linen as well. And it was actually from the fabric store. And this was super cheap. Was this one of their, they had a range of linens that were seconds. So I'm not sure if this was a second or if it was just a really amazing price. I think I got this for $10 a meter. So I got three meters of that. And the color, it's not quite as tear your eyes out red as you see there. It is very, very red. Uh, they called it scarlet. The color is scarlet, and I know when I looked up the definition of scarlet, it told me that scarlet is a sort of an orangey based red. And um, I thought, oh, is that going to be right for me? Because orange is not my color. It's, you know, orange is a warm color, and I'm much more cool coloring than that. But when it, I'm glad I actually went ahead and pushed the buy button because it's actually, it's a to me it's very blue and I know it's not really it's so much more muted than it's coming out on screen at the moment it's a very blue based red so not scarlet at all according to the dictionary but I really love it, it again it's quite a lightweight linen really nice weave nice dense weave on it I think we can say this is quality I don't think it seconds oh maybe it is second because there is a little I don't know if you can see a little slub there and of course linen does have natural slubs in it but I think uh, I did I thought it came out there we go um, so linen of course does have natural slubs in it but I think this linen probably wouldn't because it's a very smooth weave so I think possibly it was a second but for 10 bucks a meter, you cannot go wrong. I cannot go wrong. I don't know if there's any left, but um, I'll put a link to the fabric store down below because they do have a whole range of millions of different linens. And this last fabric is also a linen, but I did get this from a D-stash. So instead of me saying <laughs> what I said at the start was that only one of the things that I purchased was from a store and the rest was de stash. Only actually one thing was de stash and the rest of it was from a store. So 
sorry about that but this is another it's a cotton linen that I got from trade me on someone's D stash completely different feel this is much more soft um, it still feels like amazing quality I've been getting some really great fabrics off trade me at the moment I found some really cool people who are selling um, you know quality things from their stash X designer fabrics and that sort of thing so this is cotton and linen really really lovely and what I love about it is the print I don't see a lot of prints on cotton sorry on linen that I like I don't I don't know why but I'm always on the lookout for linen that has a nice print on it that I like and this I love um, how much do I have here I have three meters at least three meters if not more and I got it for a great price so guys there's a lot of junk on trade me to be fair in the fabric department but there are also some gems so actually I shouldn't be encouraging any New Zealander any of my New Zealand viewers to go and look at trade me because you might snap up all the good bargains so yeah probably the wrong time of year for me to be purchasing linen but you know you get you see a bargain you have to grab it and you know what it's like we just love to purchase fabric don't we so there we go there is my fourth fabric two other fabrics that I have purchased recently from trade me was uh, one of them was a um, linen cupro blend it hasn't arrived yet uh, so what I'll do is when it does arrive I'll put some footage in of it for you it looks so gorgeous um, it probably won't come up too well on camera here but it is a linen cupro in an amazing wine color apparently heading sort of towards the chocolate chocolate sort of end of things but deep wine 48% cupro 25% linen 27% rayon so it's going to be heavy but with amazing drape I can't wait to get this I've got two meters of it and so that will be winging its way to me hopefully I'll get that this week and as I say I'll be able to pop a little video in here of how that looks in real life this is my gorgeous Cupro Viscose Linen Mix. I had to try and remember what it is. Look at that amazing colour. It's actually not quite as vibrant a colour as that in real life. It's quite a dark colour that is against black there. So it is quite a dark colour. Got a lovely sheen on it nice densely woven it's a really nice weight I don't know what weight it is it would probably be at least 180 GSM I'm guessing it's very very silky it would make a beautiful lining for a very special coat or jacket but I think this is so beautiful I'm not going to use it as a lining I'm going to make a dress out of it and I think I've got a make a dress in mind you might need to wait and see if that comes to fruition or not and then the other piece of fabric that I purchased was um, let me just find it very sorry talk amongst yourselves what have we got here viscose viscose linen knit this is the linen viscose knit and I didn't realize but it's actually got a um, mild effect and a little bit of fluff where is that it's got good stretch one way and reasonable stretch another way it's actually very dark black even though it doesn't look at there that's it next to the cupro um so yeah really happy with these fabrics that i got off someone's d stash it's actually a designer who has her own clothing label she's uh, just getting rid of some remnants that she has and I got these for very good price um, something like about $15 a meter for each of those I really couldn't be happier so that really needs to be it for fabric Catherine
In addition to purchasing fabrics, I've got a few patterns to show you. I've been, um, so th these are what I've bought since about December, so December, January, February. So three months worth of pattern purchases, not a huge amount, but you know, you know what it's like. You're sifting through the internet and you see something that takes your fancy or a new pattern gets launched and you think, I need to have that. You know, don't need to justify it. Um, it is what it is. So the first one I'll talk to you about is the Venn Knit Top from Style Arc. This is just the, my sort of thing. It's so slouchy and drapey. I like those sleeves. The sleeve will just come to my elbow. I've talked before I like to cover up this part of my upper um, why am I doing that? I don't know. But so the sleeve will come to there, drop shoulder, sleeve to there, just very comfy looking knit. Actually, wouldn't that be fantastic in my viscose linen knit that I've got coming to me very, very soon. Hopefully again, that will arrive this week. So there's that pattern. The next one is the the sundress by the Makers Atelier. I think this might actually be a new pattern. I'm not sure how I came across it. It might have been because it was a new release. I saw this and it's absolutely my kind of dress. I adore it. It's got that empire waistline, short sleeves, which you could lengthen into long sleeves if you wanted. You could make a sleeveless version. It's got an interesting hemline, which I really, really love. Um, I love that sort of V at the back with the split in it and it's got drawstring to to bring the whole dress in a bit at the bottom. I just can see that being an amazing summer dress for next summer. Um, actually the sleeveless version would also be fantastic to be worn over the top of my merino base layer Lola knit dress that I made recently so I I couldn't go past this I saw this and I had to have it and I'm super stoked that it's in my my pattern catalogue now. The Sylvan jacket from So Liberated is another pattern that I picked up recently I did briefly talk to you about it uh, two or three videos ago uh, I'm talk, thinking about making it in a sort of a quilt quilted look knit fabric that I purchased again from Trade Me. I'm going to line this one because I've got a definite plan in mind. That quilted fabric with the lining from my Gabby dress that I made uh, a while ago. I probably will shorten the jacket a little bit. I think that's what I would like to do. I I think I would like it to be sitting on my high hip rather than on my low hip like this um, the uh, pattern has at the moment so I, I think that will be fine if I crop that a little bit I think that will be a really nice um, thing to add to my um, winter collection my capsule winter collection so that's yep another pattern that I purchased recently the Quadra Jeans by Thread Theory is another pattern that I added to my collection recently. These obviously are for my husband rather than for myself. Quite, I feel like an advanced make, but I did make some cargo shorts recently, which if I can link it up here, I will do so, but I'll put that video down below as well. So I feel like I'm kind of up for it. I'm not sure when I'll do these, but um, they are there for when I'm ready. So obviously just a really nice looking um, jeans pattern for blokes. I'm pretty sure they've got a sew along to go with it, which I'm sure I will need. But that's yeah another pattern that I added to my collection. This next pattern is also for my husband. My sister is to blame for that because she started making things for her husband. And of course now I need to make things for my husband. Um, but Chris really likes this Langdale, what have they called it? Lang, just the Lang, no, not Langdale, the Landgate 
So it's kind of an anoraki type thing with a hood. You can make it for men or women. It's a unisex pattern. It's got a great zip up here um, with a sort of a... I don't know how to describe it, but there's a flap underneath the zip. So you can just keep so snugly warm in this. It's, it's designed for wet weather, but for wind as well. Um, just a nice traditional anorak. And actually, I'm going to be talking about this pattern in an upcoming video because I'm definitely making this. I've got plans to make this. I've got fabric. Um, I've got all the zips and the eyelets and the everything to go with it. So you'll definitely be seeing this um, coming up in a future video. And the final pattern that I purchased recently, and this may have been my most recent purchase, is it's a new pattern release by Green Style Patterns. It's the Reef Sweatshirt. And I just think this is a really lovely cropped sweatshirt. It's got so many nice features to it. It's got the half zip up the front and the, the tall sort of funnel neck. It's got pocket options. You can have kangaroo pockets. Um, and the back. I love the back with all that shaping. You've got the back yoke there. You've got raglan sleeves. I love a raglan sleeve at the best of times. Fabric blocking options. Um, you know, I love this. Love, love, love. And of course, I've got my uh, khaki colored sweatshirt fabric here. Maybe this could be, uh, you know, something that I make out of it. You can also, not only can you do the half zip, but you can make it into a jacket and do a full zip into a jacket as well. So pretty excited about that pattern too. That is the end of this video. Thank you for watching through to the very end, if that is what you have done. Um, I hope you saw something there that you found interesting. Maybe you had seen some of those patterns before. Maybe you hadn't seen some of those before. Like I say, I'm pretty sure the Reef was a new release, and I'm pretty sure the Maker's Atelier Sundress might have been a new release. But anyway, they were new to me. And you'll see them popping up on my channel being in their finished form at some point, I'm sure. So that is goodbye from me. I hope you are happy and I hope you're doing lots of sewing at the moment. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.